Welcome back again. Uh, last video, we did a few of the finishes on a, a custom house, and, which included um, some flooring, cabinetry, countertops. Uh, today, this will be a quick video. Just wanted to go over drywall and also how we can get a pretty accurate baseboard takeoff after drywall. So drywall, uh, this is stack program we use for takeoffs and drywall is actually pretty easy. And we're going to use what's called surface area. And you can use this on a 2D uh, floor plan like this. So drywall, I'm going to call it walls and creating the takeoff. One important thing you're going to need to know is the height. And thanks to these elevation views, we see the floor we're, we're working on right now is a second floor. So you can see here 10 feet high. So important to figure that out. Uh, if you put eight feet high, which is the standard, you could be quite a ways off. And multiplier, we're going to keep it at one for now. And for the first round, hit the outside walls. So the outside walls, exterior walls, we're just going to need the interior side to be drywalled. And you can see how easy it is to draw a line around the house. And we're going to include the windows and doors, door areas in this takeoff. So that's drywall for the outs the exterior walls. Now for the interior, I'm going to change that multiplier to two. And this will be a little bit more intricate, but still pretty basic and easy to figure out. Again, keep the door spaces in. Uh, we want to count that in as uh, just contingency area and overages for cuts and waste. Bathroom, there's a lot of little walls that need to get hit here. And again, this is counting both sides. So all these interior walls, you need this side and that side. I'll we'll count this little closet. And have some walls here for the staircase. Okay, so that looks like we got all the areas for the drywall on the second floor walls. So we'll finish. Now I'm going to do a new takeoff for area. I call this drywall ceilings. I'll have two floors to touch on here as well, but we're just for the purpose of this video doing one floor. And the ceiling will just be area. So I'm going to go around similar to how we did flooring before. Enter. Okay. So now we have drywall ceilings, just shy of 1,600 square feet. And for the walls, 4,200 square feet of surface area. So going back to co-construct on our estimate, we'll go to the drywall section, which is here. Uh, $3 a square foot is what we're looking at uh, nowadays here in the at, towards the end of 2021, uh, this was increased a little bit. If it's very small ADU or just a small project that could be a bit higher, or if we have vaulted ceilings or anything that can get um, a little bit more complicated, that, that'll go higher. Drywall is a trade that we're going to, going to request a subcontractor bid for, but just for the purposes of getting a, a rough number in here, we th this is how we do it. So walls, forgot already what it was, 42.28, just call it 4230. Ceiling, 1590, call it 1600. And that gives us the drywall total, the uh, cost of 17490. What we also can get with drywall is, after doing an equation, is a baseboard. So baseboard installation, about a dollar linear foot, and then material, about $2 a linear foot. So what we can do is take the drywall walls. We know it's 10, um, $10 a square foot. 
sorry, 10 feet high, um, basically get uh, 422 linear feet. So this basic math equation tells us that, which is really helpful and saves time. So you're not doing double work. Uh, for the material, again, we'll want the extra 10% for cuts and waste. 464, 470. Go ahead and save that. So now we have um, chlorine and baseboards wrapped up at 11276 total, including the plank flooring allowance item at $3 a square foot. And of course, we have drywall. Insulation, uh, that's an item we'll get subcontracted. I'll show you how we're going to pull these items and using the co-construct system create a bid request that will be sending out to subcontractors right now the plans for this project are are the structural plans are being corrected per the city um, correction requests so once we get those back we're going to send out all the bid requests which i'll be showing in a, a future video here